seems to be coming up with their own PC part picker list, uh, which will, will apparently deliver pro-like performance at the uh, and its adjusted expiration is 2036, meaning this gameplay system, from my understanding, my understanding of the law, you can't bring this system over to other video games, where it would actually be pretty... Oh, I mean, I wasn't talking about the combination, or the combination. I wasn't using that combination to begin with. I just figured it was kind of cheap. I didn't consider that. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Anything else? Anything else? To, anything else to talk about anyway? Deathbound? It was oh, the Deathbound, same Deathbound. Um, what exactly? We see that again uh, as we move, to, move up to the ideal spec, listing a Ryzen 7 7900X or an Intel i7 14700K. So these are our, our massive secrets. The, the 7900X is a 24-24 thread CPU from just a couple of years ago. So this is uh, very powerful, and this is still uh, pretty similar to the performance of the newer 9900X, uh, which in most gaming workloads is similar, although certain workloads uh, as a uh, The Intel uh, 14700K is a 20-core, 28-thread processor, although keep in mind that those aren't all performance cores. A bunch of those are efficiency cores. Um, so it's 8P cores and 12 Anyway, the point is, they're certainly indicating that the game could be very CPU heavy, like its predecessor, which I don't think any sort of surprise. Now, when we get to the GPUs, I think things just get a little bit weird, okay? So, for example, the AMD GPU here, the RX 5700, is just in a completely different class of performance than the GTX 970. Now, I've noticed in some system requirements charts, um, the, because some uh, older AMD GPUs uh, you no longer have a driver support.
I'm literally getting face counted. Not even counted. 